In the lands of ancient Babylonia, there was a man named Daniel. He was known for his wisdom and his unshakable faith in God. Three times every day, Daniel would open his window and sit down on his knees in prayer. He lived in Babylon, a grand city, where he served King Darius, a ruler of great power. Daniel was so good at his job that the king wanted to put him in charge of the whole kingdom. But not everyone was happy about this. Some of the other leaders were jealous of Daniel. They knew he was loyal to his God and prayed to him three times a day. So, they made a sneaky plan. They went to King Darius and convinced him to make a law that for 30 days, no one could pray to any God or human except to the king. They knew this was one law Daniel would never follow. Daniel, upon hearing this decree, did not change. With the windows of his chamber open, he knelt and prayed, just as he always had. The officials, lurking like shadows, caught him in the act and brought him before the king. King Darius, distressed, realized he had been tricked into condemning his most trusted advisor. Yet, the law of the Medes and Persians could not be revoked. With a heavy heart, he ordered Daniel to be cast into the lion's den, hoping in some way his god would save him. As night enveloped the land, Daniel was lowered into the den. The lions, mighty and fearsome, roared and paced. But as Daniel stood among them, a serene calm enveloped him. He spoke softly to the beasts, his voice a steady beacon in the darkness. Miraculously, the lions did not harm him. They lay around him, their usual ferocity replaced with a peaceful presence. All night, King Darius walked around in his palace, struck with worry. At the first light of dawn, he hurried to the den and called out anxiously for Daniel. From the depths of the den, Daniel's voice rose, steady and calm. O oh, king, my god sent his angel and the lions have not hurt me. Overjoyed, King Darius commanded that Daniel be lifted from the den. Not a scratch was found on him, for his faith had protected him. Then, in a turn of justice, the king ordered those who had conspired against Daniel to be thrown into the lion's den. This time, the lions did not hold back, and the conspirators met a swift end. King Darius issued a new decree, declaring that in every part of his kingdom, people must respect Daniel's God. Daniel's bravery and trust in God protected him from the lions. His story teaches us about staying true to our beliefs, even when it's hard, and how faith can bring us through the scariest times.